The movie starts in Kabul, Afghanistan. American troops under Sergeant Benjamin Myers gear up. They are after a high-ranking terrorist. They locate the terrorist's hideout. Myers uses his combat skills to take down a terrorist. Following Karp's guidance, they move to another site and neutralize more terrorists. Later, Myers and his team enter Karp's quarters and find some women. They question them about Jamal Aladdin but get no answers. Frustrated, Myers resorts to extreme actions. One woman stands up, showing she has a bomb strapped to her. Myers quickly grabs the bomb's remote and gets her to safety. He faces a tough dilemma. He threatens to set off the bomb unless they disclose Jamal Aladdin's whereabouts. The woman finally points a direction and sets off the bomb, causing a huge explosion. Myers and another soldier are stunned by what happens. Fast forward two years, a former soldier from New Orleans, Jack Robideau, arrives in Columbus, New Mexico with his rabbit. Captain Ramona Garcia introduces Jack to the local police, as he is the newest member of their homicide division. Captain Ramona talks about a growing threat. New criminals have appeared in town, possibly ex-military like Navy SEALs or Delta Force. Someone unknown is leading them. These hired soldiers receive substantial funding and are highly organized, working for local drug lords. Their link is a mysterious leader from their past. If this keeps up, things could get worse. After the briefing, Captain Ramona tells Jack that he's part of the team but must quickly adapt. She stresses that law enforcement here isn't like in New Orleans. It's about enforcing the law or handling illegal border crossings. Columbus is a rough place, and Jack needs to be cautious. He stops by Connie's bar and attracts a lot of attention. Lexi, the bartender, takes his drink order and enjoys Jack's comments. This annoys Jed, a customer. Jed confronts Jack, who instantly regrets his words and pushes Jed, causing him to stumble. Jed's friends then attack Jack, but Jack fights back and leaves with his rabbit. That night, Jack heads to his room to rest. The next day, Ramona approaches Jack, upset about the bar incident. She warns Jack that if he continues causing problems, she'll need to find someone else to replace him. At that moment, Agent Billy Pawnell arrives. Jack apologizes to Ramona, who then leaves. Billy starts being nice to Jack, and later, they head to Billy's home. At Billy's house, Jack meets Billy's significant other before returning to his own place. That night, Jack has nightmares about his past and talks to his rabbit. The next morning, Jack is looking over maps and info about a smuggler when Billy takes him to the border. Suddenly, there's a gunfight between smugglers and the police. Jack jumps in to protect Billy, and they begin a car chase after the criminals. When they spot the criminals trying to flee, Jack rams their car and captures one of the culprits. This captured criminal has a bomb on him. Jack instructs Billy to call the bomb squad. When the bomb disposal team arrives, they struggle with the bomb. It detonates, and from a distance, Carp and the other smugglers witness the blast. It's revealed that these smugglers are part of a rebel military group led by Benjamin Myers, with Carp as his second in command. They have taken over the illegal trade in the area, forcing out major drug lords like Felix Nestor and Benito Ortiz. During a police meeting, an FBI agent shares classified information from Quantico. Benjamin Myers is orchestrating the local illegal activities and is expanding them. Every year, more than 50,000 people cross the border without proper documentation, potentially carrying drugs. To tackle this, bomb experts are tasked with inspecting all entrants because Myers employs concealed C4 explosives. They need to be ready for any deceptions. Myers used to serve as a soldier in Afghanistan but is now engaged in drug trafficking with a wealthy accomplice from outside. This situation poses significant challenges. Authorities are uncertain about acquiring new gear or assistance from the National Guard. With upcoming elections, this issue gains urgency, leaving only the police to handle it. During a meeting, a captured smuggler seizes Jack and points a gun at Billy. However, Jack, using his combat training, disarms the smuggler, protecting Billy. They soon encounter more smugglers. Billy suddenly swerves the car, catching the smugglers off guard. Jack leaps out and pursues them on foot. He catches one, but when another aims a gun at him, Jack swiftly shoots, neutralizing them both. Following these events, Ramona again expresses her frustration with Jack. Shortly after, a journalist arrives with the town's leader. While watching the news, Carp discreetly informs a friend at the bar about Jack's location. That evening, Jed apologizes to Jack for their earlier argument. Lexi, the bartender, gives Jack a drink and tells some reporters about Jack's involvement in catching smugglers. However, 
Lexi's good mood disappears when Ramona walks in. They both drink together, and as Ramona becomes more intoxicated, Jack decides it's best to take her outside. Elsewhere, Carp tells Myers about an imminent shipment and their plan to hide it from the police. While walking, Jack sees a family, triggering a memory of a dream where a girl laughs inside a police station, and an officer accidentally spills something on Jack, making him think about changing his clothes. At the same time, Myers, Carp, and their team board a bus loaded with contraband. During a routine check, a policeman becomes suspicious after seeing a tattoo on one of the smuggler's hands and quickly reports it to police headquarters. Upon getting alerted, Carp tells Myers to take action. Myers forcefully ejects the bus driver and leaves him behind. The smugglers wave their guns, sparking a fierce gunfight with the police. Jack and Billy get an urgent call about the bus and hurry to the location, closing in on the smugglers. But just as they are about to trap them, Myers sees a police car ahead and quickly turns the bus around. From a nearby bridge, Jack shoots at Myers' bus, but Myers dodges the bullets. The bus speeds up and crashes into a wall in the Las Palomas market zone. Jack and Billy chase after, diving into the crossfire. In the market, Jack believes it's best to continue pursuing the criminals. Mexican officers then unexpectedly capture Jack from behind. Meanwhile, Carp reveals everything he knows about Jack. Growing worried about Jack and Billy's situation, they seek help from an FBI agent. Elsewhere, Jack ends up in jail. Mexican officials compel Jack to fight another prisoner. Everyone is astonished when Jack defeats his opponent with martial arts. At the town hall, when the town chief asks where Jack is, Captain Ramona discloses he's jailed in Palomas. Inside the Palomas prison, some officers unexpectedly attack Jack. During a memorial for those who died in the bus conflict, Captain Ramona's phone rings with a call from Billy, prompting her immediate response. Back with Jack, a Palomas officer delivers him to Myers. Myers hangs Jack above a water pool filled with electric wires, questioning him about his real identity. Myers doubts that Jack is just a Border Patrol agent because of his fighting abilities, suspecting he might be from the FBI or another special force. Despite the threats, Jack insists he's merely a Border Patrol agent. At the same time, Billy captures Ramona. Surprisingly, it's revealed that Billy is working with Myers. Myers points his gun at Ramona to pressure Jack. Under duress, Jack reveals his true motive for pursuing Myers. Myers' drugs caused the tragic death of Jack's teenage daughter, Cassie, a few months earlier. Devastated by Cassie's death at 16, Jack is determined to make Myers pay for his actions. In another scare tactic, Myers puts Ramona's uncle, Emil, at risk by throwing him into the electrified water. Jack and Ramona find themselves locked in a room but successfully escape and overpower Billy. Ramona urgently calls the Mexican police for help, and they start chasing after Myers and his gang. During the pursuit, Ramona gets hurt in a car accident. Jack then faces off against Carp, a skilled fighter, and after a tough fight, he comes out on top. Left alone, Myers tries to shoot Jack, but Jack throws an explosive device at him. This device, similar to one seen earlier in Kabul, goes off and kills Myers. Feeling thankful, Ramona apologizes to Jack. A Palomas officer also expresses regret for his earlier actions. Saddened by Emil's fate, Jack learns from Ramona that Emil was her relative and that she had recommended him for the job. She adds that Emil always seemed happy and preferred to keep their family ties a secret. Understanding her feelings, they head back to Jack's place. Jack notices his pet rabbit is missing and starts looking for it. He tells Ramona that the rabbit belonged to his deceased daughter. When Ramona finds the rabbit, she asks for its name, which is Jack Jack. Jack explains that his daughter thought the name was funny. Ramona suggests that Jack should move back to New Orleans and start fresh. After thinking about it, Jack agrees. When Ramona asks about his wife, he simply answers, yes. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching and see you again soon. Take care.